in a bit. Uh, first up, he's spinning the beats no matter what life has thrown his way. DJ Diego, facing health obstacles, had his wish of DJ equipment granted by Make-A-Wish of Southern Nevada earlier this year, and now he's creating beats for fans all around the world. He's got a legion of fans there here to tell us his story and what he is up to. The star himself, how are you? What's going on, man? I'm good. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank tell us about how you did get into DJing. Um, well... When Make Wish asked me what I wanted for a wish, um, I've always been into music and always wanted to do stuff with music. So I was thinking and asked for DJ equipment. And so with the DJ equipment, I just started kind of DJing and watching YouTube videos of DJing and stuff and just kind of fell in. I don't want people to think that just having DJ equipment <laughs> allows you to DJ. It is, it's difficult. You have to do, learn beat matching and, and, yeah. and, and uh, how, I mean, how, how long did that? It seemed, I mean, you got the equipment this year. Yeah. You're a quick learner. <laughs> how, 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 did, uh, how, did, how did the learning process go? Um, it took about, just to start, just tra good transitions and uh, like knowing all the buttons like a month. And then now playing places and being able to play in front of people, it's about 12 months. Did wow. you teach yourself basically? Yeah, or like it, you said, you went online and kind of yeah. looked and so you learned from people yes, online? Yes, self-taught, yeah. And have you posted things online to help other people now? Not yet. You should do that because <laughs> yeah. so people can learn from you. Well, see, see, maybe people will bring a camera to Dallas because you're yeah. going to Dallas in a few days. Who, who are you performing with? Uh, Little John. How did you get that? <laughs> Epic. You just my, made a phone call? My lovely, lovely mom. Oh, oh, really? She's your biggest is supporter. She she's in the yeah. studio right now taking pictures of you. Love it's it. fantastic. He is a, he's a major artist, so I, how, how cool is it to be performing with him? It's, it's, it still hasn't hit me yet, but I'm still kind of... <laughs> do you get nervous playing in front of a bunch of people? Yes. What yes. do you think about, or just the music that gets, you um, get through that way? Just what's going to, what's, what's, like, you're feeling, what are you going to feel right now when you're about to play in front of all these people and have them dance for you and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I will say, I mean, this isn't your first time playing a big audience. You've been playing Ultraviolet World and these other yes. uh, big shows. Tell me about Ultraviolet World and, and what this show's about. Um, Ultraviolet is a music festival. Um, the last, uh, last gigs that I've done with them, because it's the same company, yeah. uh, it was 10,000 more people, and, but it was a 5K. Wow. And this is uh, like an EDM festival. Okay, so they're not running past you. Yeah. <laughs> They'll actually be there yeah. looking at you. Yes. Okay. Now, how do you put a song <laughs> list together? What are you thinking of? Do you play the songs that your mom loves, that you love, um, requests? How do you do it? It depends on the, what the gig is. If it's a hip-hop gig, you play lots of hip-hop. Um, this specific gig is an EDM festival. Okay. So it's lots of EDM and hard electro. So you play a lot of different things. Yes. And what's your favorite, though? Um, EDM. EDM? <laughs> yeah. Which definitely, it's huge right yes. now. Uh, let, let's talk about where we can see you here in Vegas. Um, after, when I come back from uh, uh, Ultraviolet, yeah. I'm going to be here and actually on my shirt, um, it's called Skate Ecstasy. Uh -huh. It's the newest, uh, biggest skate park in the world, indoor and outdoor. Where's this? Um, it's over on, I don't know where it's over where, where, This is we here? We can look it up. Yeah. The, the biggest, the world's largest skate park's here in Vegas. Yeah. And, oh, uh, that's unbelievable. And I'm their resident DJ now. Epic. That's so yeah. cool. And tell us about what kind of uh, medical condition that you went through and what you faced? Um, I have, I have an a autoimmune disorder called PANDAS. It's a pediatric autoimmune disorder associated with strep. And with that, you get um, Tourette's, bad OCD, lots of, uh, lots of common uh, illnesses and stuff mm -hmm. with that one illness. And with that, I gained the photographic memory and stuff like that. So. Which has helped you here, yes. certainly. But it was misdiagnosed for a long time, yes. and finally you got it diagnosed. Your, your health is turned around, and now you're turning two tables. Yes. Love it. You're going to spin for us, so mm -hmm. you have a, a set ready to go. Do you want to take it away? Two yeah. minutes, and yeah. go. Go.
These guys still mix it. We're going to let them keep mixing. On Vegas' own DJ Diego, he has taken his talents to Dallas for Ultraviolet World. It's this Saturday at uh, Dallas, Texas. He's going to be opening up for superstar Lil John. In the meantime, you want to learn more about him and where he's going to be next in the Valley, check out the website on your screen. You could also hit him up on Facebook and Twitter. Really cool. Yeah, still the